Jury selection for the first U.S. war crimes trial since World War II is underway at Guantanamo Bay. Salim Hamdan pleaded not guilty to charges of conspiracy and supporting terrorism. Prosecutors say he was the driver and bodyguard for Osama bin Laden. As the trial began, Attorney General Michael Mukasey urged Congress to pass new laws governing how foreign terrorist suspects seek their release. It's doubtful, however, that Congress will act before the year ends. A federal judge in Washington said he would not wait for Congress. The responsibility of moving forward rests with the legislative and executive branches as much as it does with the judiciary. The Supreme Court left many significant questions open, and it is well within the historic role and competence of Congress and the executive branch to attempt to resolve them. About 200 suspected al-Qaeda and Taliban foot soldiers contend they are being illegally held at the prison at the U.S. naval base in Cuba. A Supreme Court ruling last month gave the detainees the right to challenge their capture in U.S. civilian courts. And Congress should adopt rules that strike a reasonable balance between the detainees' rights to a fair hearing on the one hand and our national security needs and the realities of wartime detention on the other hand. Thirteen officers were brought in from other U.S. bases over the weekend to potentially serve as jurors. Hamdan's lawyers asked them if they had any friends or family members who were affected by the 9-11 attacks to see if they should be excluded. A minimum of five officers must be selected. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.